Hello and welcome back to Object Oriented Programming with Java and in this video we are going to look at uh, overloading and we've already kind of looked at overloading for constructors when we wrote three constructors for the complex class in the programming session. So uh, overloading is actually related to a fundamental concept of object oriented programming which is polymorphism if you remember from the first video. And in overloading what happens is that methods perform different operations and that depends on uh, the type of arguments passed and the number of arguments passed. So uh, the first thing to remember in overloading is that methods, uh, overloaded methods have the same name. So that's one thing and second they must have either a different number of uh, different type of parameters or a different number so it has to be one of those so different types or number I'm just going to use this for number so different type or number of arguments because if we don't do this and it's the same name then there's going to be an ambiguity and uh, the program won't know which one to call so uh, these are the two things that we need to remember and I think it will be best again for me to do this via an example. So I'm going to take an example here. So what I'm going to do is uh, we'll do this in the programming session as well but I'm going to have an add method for complex numbers so the first way I can have an add method is I could have something like a public sorry this needs to be lowercase public um, let's just say this returns a complex add and I could pass this a complex number complex other so this is one way I could do it and the other way I could do it is something like public public complex add and I could give this a float real. So what I'm doing here in the second method is that I'm just giving you something like a 5.0 and I want you to add this to the complex number which isn't really incorrect I could do something like 5.0 plus uh, 2.0 plus 1.0 i so this is a perfectly valid operation I just need to add this number to the real part of my complex number and this is my complex number right here and in the first method what I'm doing is just uh, plain simple adding the real part to the real part the imaginary part of the imagine to the imaginary part of uh, the complex number by which I'm calling it and the other complex number so for example the way I would call the first one is something like z1 dot add z2 and I can store this in something like z3 and the way I would call the second part of it is something like uh, z3 is equal to z1 dot add say 5.0 f so that's how I would add that so the add method here is said to be overloaded so it performs different uh, operations or you could probably say it's a similar operations but that's the whole point of overloading we usually perform similar operations but it's usually not exactly the same because if I tried to take this real number right here and uh, do real dot real it means nothing so because real is a floating point so that's what overloading is all about and here the last point that I want to wrap up with is that the compiler 
treats overloaded methods as totally different. So overloaded methods as separate. So for us the name might be same but the compiler treats these two as totally different methods. Uh, these two have nothing to do with each other as far as the compiler is concerned. So I think that should be it for the for this video and I'll see you next in a programming session where we'll do static methods, static attributes as well as overloading. Although we've already done overloading for constructors. So see you then.